pick up where we left off. I'm your King of Awesomeness, and welcome to, I think, part 4 or 5 of Sunny. I'm not really sure. Uh, I ended the last episode jumping right into this. I'm gonna use the retrograde on myself. There we go. So, so now all the damage I take is just gonna heal me for just a little while. Now I'm gonna be healing afterwards. So there you go, you wanna use that ability when you get to about half health. Oh, my phone just vibed. My phone just vibbed at me. What do you want, phone? I got more important things going on right now. Now, I didn't mean to go into a hillbilly country accent. You know, if I don't, if I let his focus stay high, then I think he won't heal himself with that special ability. That's what I think is useful about the Dark Infusion. It, it'll sort of trick the enemy into thinking that he's tough. Holy crap, I'm nearly dead. Retrograde. Yeah, there we go. Yes. That, that went perfectly. Yeah, see, now he's gonna keep on... He's gonna keep on regenerating all of his, uh, mana or whatever. Okay, re Oh, no, I can't retrograde! Free will! There we go. There we go, he's almost down. He's almost down. Retrograde. Never mind, wasn't needed. Well, I did it! Oh. <sighs> I did it. This is only gonna get so much harder from here on out. Bring it on. Bring it on. Alright. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I needed to adjust. Because I got my back. Should probably take a break soon. No, I don't think so. Alright, let's keep going. There the Warden. no escape from my prison. I will crush you. He almost sounds like a, um, well, what is it that I'm trying to think of here? Oh my goodness. What does that do? Bound by law, his speed is reduced. Okay, that's all it does. That's fine as long as that's all it does to him. Why are you attacking when you need healing? Like, that bad. Yeah, I'm gonna use free will on you too. There you go, buddy. Let me just stun him too. So we have a couple turns to heal up. No, no, no retrograde. Um, terrified. See, I really like this game's uh, like clever twist on enemies and how there's so many different strategies you can use to to defeat them. Why does he get to go twice when he does that? Come on, it's not fair. On game, but anyways, like with that last enemy, he you had to you had to set it up so that his focus was high. Yet you had to keep his focus nice and high up, so that he wouldn't. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Thank you, friend. Anyways, because as trying to pick up the soap, losing a focus. Are you serious? That's a that's a. That's an ability that's happening right now. That is an ability. You guys are messed up. This is messed up. Alright, use free will. I really hate that that move is as costly as it is considering what it does. You know? I'm gonna just keep hitting him with Dark Focus, because it costs me nothing. And I really don't have any way to regenerate. It says I receive zero additional damage. 
Oh no! It's gonna be in ten turns. No, never mind, it's not gonna be in ten turns. I'm just gonna die. Son of a gun! Alright. Shawshank boots and warden's armor. Act quiet, you congregate. Quiet, you. Alright. Okay, epiphany. So the psychopath form sounds really helpful. So the thing is, I don't have any focus regeneration, though. So does that mean nothing will happen when I get this? Like, it's currently at 0%. Oh, no, wait, no, no, what am I thinking here? It adds 30% to that, so... Yeah. Okay, so let's get Epiphany. Let's see here... Causes damage over time equal to 90% of my instinct. see here mm, which which move should I replace with that corruption maybe because I don't really use it partly because it's like really really pricey it's like 90 that's not oh, wait let me see here 90 percent of my instinct each turn so that's nine per ten so that means they would take 27 damage each turn for seven turns versus taking 300% of my strength and instinct combined in a single hit it also it also uh, dispels the shadow debuff okay I think I can see why this move is so cheap now but let's see if I upgrade it though so basically each upgrade causes him to take an additional uh, yeah, 10% more of this per turn. So he'd go from taking 27 damage per turn to 30, and then so on and so forth, based on my instinct entirely. I really need to get the Psychopath form, though, because that sounds awesome. It even raises my total instinct. Uh, I never really looked at these bottom moves. Let's see, what's this? Damages the target for 310% of my instinct and causes it to regenerate. Wait, damages the, the damages the target, but causes it to regenerate that health back. Interesting. Ultimatum. Heals me for 100% of my health and decreases all damage and healing taken by 95%, but I lose 10% of my health each turn costs nothing for me to use. So that, this is a permanent ability. I cast I cast it once and it pretty much just stays on me for like pretty much the rest of the battle. Heals me heals me to 100%. Decreases all damage and healing taken by 95%. Oh, decreases all damage and healing. Ooh. Hmm, I don't know about that one. Shock coma. Shocks the target into a short coma, causing it to regenerate 12% health and 10 focus each turn for two turns. Well, that puts it in a coma, though. So if I cast this on, like, an ally, it means it wouldn't be able to move for a couple turns. Haunt? Constant target, causing it to lose focus. Effect cannot stack. Sacrifice. Destroys an allied unit, but increases my instinct by 40% and regenerates 50% of my health. No, thank you. Causes the damage over time effects on the target to be 100% stronger, and the healing over time effects on the target... Hi, pretty bird. And the healing over time effects on the target to heal for 400% more. Lasts only one turn. Hmm. This is tricky. This is, like... Okay. I think what I want to do... Uh, where was that one ability? Yeah, I think I want to get to the Wraith form. And the Psychopath form. See, these... These moves cost literally nothing for me to use. 
And see, they both allow me to recover focus, so these are awesome. Getting tenacity would also be super helpful, but... So, once I get psychopath form, I think I'm going to replace the free will with the psychopath form. Because it, it's basically just about as, as helpful and useful. Or maybe I'll replace this traumatized ability down here. And then I'll get a Wraith form, and then that will replace one of the free will. Because this, this retrograde is pretty darned helpful. So let's see, one here, one point here. Okay. Alright. Ten minutes in. <laughs> Alright, I think that'll be it for this episode. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Let me equip these real quick. Or at least see if they're worth it to equip. Yeah, speed three, strength five. Or just, like, three vitality. That's, I think that's worth it. I lose one speed, but gain so many other things. So yeah, I'm gonna take that too. Sell these off. Okay, that'll be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and it's time for you to pay your taxes to your king by hitting those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.